Outlaws have set up camp in the woods, stirring up trouble. But one day, they suddenly vanished. I sent out one of my mystics to investigate the matter. But the foolish man didn't wait for his armed escort, and rushed into the forest alone. We must follow the mystic, and find out what happened to the outlaws. I, A, didn't know we had any mystics in our entourage, and B, didn't know we had any foolish ones. However, now we know. Uh, Fomorians out here, which we ran into in the last mission, and uh, some of them are pretty intimidating. Lots of high HP, some of them have crazy armor, uh, but then a lot of, like, little wargs. Even still, like, the wargs were not one-hitting, so it's changing our, uh, our plan a little bit. Um, we are going to take out the Red Knight again. He's got the Rotten Sigil and the Undealt Death, so the double damage there. And then some uh, Reflection and Incoming Attack, Breaking Values being ignored. Um, Merlin's setup is the exact same. Uh, there's nothing really to change it with. We got the this Relic Sigil for Staffs, but or the, uh, sorry, the Sign of the Walking Flame has a little bit more Armor Pierce. But it doesn't increase burning damage, it does increase damage against burning units, and then... The other benefit you have to kill three units for before you can even use, so uh, we're not going to be switching to that. Uh, I did like taking out two defenders, but we picked up this uh, Jawbone of Morgar. And I'm guessing that was like a quest reward or something. And it looks really powerful, but it's champion only. So although I love that double defender build, uh, we're going to go... Uh, we're going to go with a champion in the Black Knight. He's going to wear the Hex Sigil here. He's got the Earthshaker Rune and the uh, Retorting Ring of Vigor as well. And then lastly, Tristan. Same build as last time. It seems to work pretty well. I think this is good. And uh, we're going to we're gonna rock with this. So here we go into I'm Bad Omens. Let's begin at the problems, shall we? The air is thick with human decay, and the stench of the enemy that prowls the forest. Monstrosities that once devoured the unyielding warriors of the Tua de Danon, and even some lesser gods. The man these knights are looking for is still alive. His soul is a spark in the gathering darkness. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, let's switch this up. There we go. Meet the Mystic. Let's look at the map. Okay, it's a big one. It's a big one. Well then, they slaughtered everyone. I see bite marks, but plenty of meat was left on the bones to rot. Why? Hmm. Wasn't for eating. It was just for fun. Oh, you should run. Come, weakling. Let us fill our bellies with your flesh tomorrow. We are hungry. Leave me be, evil creatures, or I shall strike you down with my terrible might. Don't even try to chase me. Look, the real wants to play. <laughs> I don't know about that tactic, bro. He's screwed. He is leading them away from us, which, you know, I'm not going to argue against. Uh, okay, so let's just go straight down here into this little alcove first. Investigate the death ourself. Looks good. Riches Ooh. to plunder. Not a relic chest, but this is my lucky that's day. like 20 gold right there. Plus 56. Do have some problems ahead. Not so feisty now, weakling. Nowhere to run. Please tell me he can teleport. Come. Let me pluck your ribs. This is actually if we have to fight heart. all these One enemies. Step and I will utter the secret words of your banishment. Besides, my rescuers just arrived. Oh, great. This is more HP probably than we've ever dealt with before. And he did teleport. <laughs> All right. Uh, no armor on these guys. Sometimes this guy, not the slaughterer, I don't think, but I think it's like a shield breaker version has a ton of armor. Uh, these guys are problematic just because they have so much HP. But I do have... I can burn across and hit two of them. The two uh, big boys there. Do you want from me? So this approach has been working fairly well. 
where we teleport. Well, that was weird. And then, uh, hit. But, but. Oh, I don't have Mordred. What's it gonna be? Mordred helped a lot with the uh, vulnerability and stuff. But it's okay. We'll have to use other tactics. Since they're so far, um, let's throw this on him. He can attack any one of these. Don't care who. I'll be happy either way. They're both vulnerable now. Uh, let's start weakening him, presuming he's also going to weaken him. And we'll reduce this guy's AP a bit. Ready. And then the Black Knight. I mean, I should probably wait for that. I am here to serve. And then Tristan. We definitely want to throw traps here. One there. We'll do three traps out. And a good old hide. Your Highness. Okay. Chilling. Chilling. And I guess chilling. That sounds painful. Okay. Wasn't too bad. What do you want? Okay, so I want you guys to kill anything but me. That would be great. I've got a really nice burn here. I think I gotta be able to set up. Let's taint, uh, or le <laughs> let's mind fog this taint hog. Wait, I don't have. I don't have... No, okay. My lineup doesn't... Oh, yeah, it does. Wait, does it? I don't know what he's in there. We'll find out. Uh, let's taint this one. Because this guy's a little weaker. Alright, so... Yeah. I think we'll just hit these two again. Or maybe I should hit the one in front, weaken him up a little bit more. Oh, wait. There we go. Okay. I was right the first time. I can hit three. Okay. Now, next time we're... I've got this sequence worked out pretty well now. Um, we won't be able to fire Drake on the next turn. Make up your mind. But that's okay. Is this the play? I think so. Make up your mind. I'm fully stunned. Love that. What? Rock in hell. Oh yeah, these guys can be knocked back. We're gonna go with recuperate now. Because someone's getting hurt. Let me tell you. Surprise. Or more accurately, not surprise. I need to get this guy down to 68. That'll do. Man, I actually really like that um, reduced fight. cost on hide, and then we get that extra AP when he starts hidden, so... Yeah, nice. I just hope this guy burns out before he gets Make that thing triggered. Alright. Nice. So now that dude's gonna die. That little sequence worked out great. I like how he totally avoided activating us. Why are they running, I wonder? Interesting. I wonder if that's because of the stuff on the ground. Huh. Tower and glory. Okay. We're gonna take
take that, although these guys are pretty slowed already. I am here to serve. Thirteen. I guess we just kill him. And we'll come in here. What do you want from me? Okay, so now we need more distractions. We need to keep teleporting. And I'll have some fire. So, I think... Okay, I guess we'll put one here. I should have actually taken a closer look there, because I probably could have put one on each to get the burn going, but... That's life. Let's do this, one on each here, because this one is uh, vulnerable. Oh, it's only 4%. Yeah, also, sh also should have looked at that. Who do we want to taunt here? Reducing AP. Maybe this guy? Make up your mind. I'll set up an overwatch. Next turn, we're going to have our Fire Drake back up, which is going to be helpful. Okay. Uh, not quite enough. Power attack for 54? I don't think so. We'll just do two of these. Now, I pretty much have to burn these, I think. This guy actually hits harder. So we'll do one of those. In this scenario, I will burn first before teleporting. Because I probably want to stay hidden here. Fifty-two. Yeah, let's go. And we'll stay hidden this way. I am ready. We are definitely going to take some attacks. Um, maybe I'll come in for one more. You must be really desperate. Sword or sorcery. Okay. Good luck, everyone. What are we waiting for? Make sure you do all the tanking things that you should do. Done. Okay, not not bad. Okay, so this taint hog is dead. I just like saying taint hog. Your Highness. We'll set up a little distraction over there. Run our combo. Um Hit this one. Burn here. So he probably hits this one, right? This guy probably hits there. Mm, how killable are they? I might be able to get this guy and then I don't have to worry about him. One.
Okay, so he's gonna die. This guy hopefully hits here. His throwing axe actually does more damage. This would put him into kill range. I think this might reveal our buddy. Oh, he's got knockback immune. Yeah, that's right. Hit this hard. Hmm. Look at the Black Knight just like chilling. Totally, totally dead. We'll taunt there. And let's overwatch. Oh, we got the double damage on the overwatch. Again. Kick him to death. You must be the knights I demanded from Camelot. What took you so long? Are you kidding me? Who the hell do you think you are? Well, I'm Meliorus the Untouchable. <laughs> I am a mystic. The exalted one who gazes into the netherworlds. You must have heard of me. I've never heard your name in Camelot. You've never heard my name. Is that supposed to be a joke? What are you even doing here? I came to investigate the death of some wanderers who settled in these woods. They were all slaughtered by the monsters. The Fomorians? Yes, yes, the giants. The legendary beasts who fought the Tuatha de Dinan. The godly people. Okay, go on. I also sensed a huge tear in the fabric of Avalon. The presence of a new gate. I must seal it shut before more Fomorians could crawl through. And that's why we're here? Exactly. No time to waste, knights. Follow my lead. <sighs> lead the way, Meliorus. All right. So now we also have a Sir Ector type, it looks like. But with teleport. If Sir Ector could get teleport, that would be, uh, that'd be great. Did we not take a single point of damage there? Oh no, we did. We did. Yeah, because he was getting stunned left, right, and center. Look. Yes, look. Yum. Alright, we are not going to hit that just yet. It's got 183 health. Vitality, more Cook specifically. <laughs> I don't think I've heard him say that before. Don't ever believe that the Lady of the Lake has anything in common with your kind. Trinkets, I suppose. Not even, buddy. Just coins. But beggars can't be choosers. Ooh, hello. This is my lucky day. Basically coins. It's just a strong I would like to hear them say different things when you're picking up higher quality uh I'm actually gonna save this one as well. Higher quality items. I haven't noticed them doing that. They said our love made us worthy. I could probably argue bringing out a couple of scrolls on certain units that, you know, almost never get hit. One thing I like about the Fomorians so far is uh, fewer, like, range units. I guess they have I guess they have the jumping attack, so it's kind of similar. Here's the shield breaker that I was talking about and a beast man. Getting through that armor is going to be problematic. I can maybe get some fire going here. What do you want? I wonder if I can reach that. No. I'm gonna stay as far back as I possibly can. Okay, by the time they get to us, that could actually be pretty good. Um, 
Let's actually get the warg. He'll go for that guy. And we don't have to worry about him as much right now. And then we'll do an axe throw and an earth shaker. Ready. And a taunt. Lose some AP. Recuperate in case he charges. Oh, I forgot about my other pal. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So, this does 70% weapon damage, but no burn. What's the cooldown for you, too? Let's just do this. It's a single attack as well. He's not gonna, he's not gonna be, like, I think his slowing hex might be the most useful. Okay, there's another decent burn. I could be of some help, I suppose. The slaughterer. Uh, let's go here on this taint hog, because he'll definitely hit these. And then let's hit these three. We've got multiple people burning. And then, if I do a slow, I'd have enough for a force bolt as well. Let's slow this warg. And this guy, if we bring him down, yeah, this will be enough to get him killed. What? And then, I'm gonna continue waiting for these guys, I think. Command. Let's come in here for at least one freebie. Let's do another one. And then I imagine I could probably hide here. He probably goes for the illusion. Let's hold. I'm not gonna run in there. But we will overwatch. I almost, I almost hate overwatching because we basically lose the potential carryover bonuses, right? So. Oh, Ooh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> Still totally fine. Funny enough. Here and then we'll have a fire bolt. Um, let's get some fire going on this guy. We'll hit him once and then we'll go two on the taint hog so we can maybe get him killed this turn. 49 or 48. This causes vulnerability. Oh, but he's got 80% resist. So we'll put bleed on, I guess. What? And it looks like I'm charging in there. So I'm slowed. There we go. He's in death Ready. mode. Face this way. What are we waiting for? 20 to 25. And we'll throw this on. Awaiting your command. 
And then I'm thinking we might be able to kill both here. Oh, that actually... Wait, I'm... oh, I'm not backstabbing here. Frick. He's still dead now. I better back off. I am a bit worried that these guys are gonna I am ready. stumble on us now, though. Tower and glory. Okay. He removed an interesting target. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Okay, so this dude's dead. That early burn really paying off hugely. Now I think we want to burn here. So the warg dies, Beastman starts burning. And then we get the slaughterer. What are we waiting for? Let's do this. And we'll taunt. Awaiting your command. Let's see how low we can get on. We got him. We got him. What's it gonna be? Uh, this guy's going to attack the closest now. Which is going to be him, I think. All of his stuff's on cooldown, though, so I don't think he'll even be able to get here. Black Knight's just, uh, dead. He's, he's resting. Glory. I could be of some help, I suppose. came right to us. What more could I ask for? Ready to Love fight. it. I think if they're if if the if the champion's basic attack could be of some help, was uh one cheaper, I think that would make all the difference for them being more effective cuz it just feels like <laughs> If I'm gonna move them, I'm not gonna be able to attack with them, you know? Hmm. Nothing. I could have sworn the gate is here. I don't understand. Oh, now convenient. I sense its presence from a different place. What's happening? You're probably screwing with us is what's happening. Ooh. Treasure lost and found. I'm actually surprised we haven't found more hidden stuff uh, with Merlin. Because he's got, like, high perception, high spellcraft, all that. What's this? Good stuff. Okay, there's the portal. First pick should be mine. Let's go clear out the other parts of the map first, and we'll do the portal last. Interesting. Blue jewels. Love it. Ah, I see something here. What do you see, my friend? Oh, wow. First pick should be mine. I basically needed a perception check on that one. Looks fine. 
Everything looks great. Now, if we... There are situations where you hit a campfire and then we get, like, an ambush or something. That's one concern with these being so empty. Let's go armor here to get the, uh, the Black Knight. I saw nothing but blackness. And this is where we started, right? So... Okay, we'll go in with slightly lower HP here. We've got potions. Okay. This is similar to, like, first group. Windmaster is new. Strike, earth ball, range attacks that deals damage in an area of 3x3. Three three. Geyser erupt up from the earth. Earth, dealing massive damage in a 3x3 three three area after one turn delay. Summons three hurricanes that move towards enemy units and deals damage on contact. And summons three worms of the deep. Huh. Well, isn't that charming? Isn't that charming? What's it gonna be? So I think I could burn here to start that problem solving. I thought he missed that somehow. Okay, this guy's resists are pretty low also. Um, thing is, he could just cast spells and not attack anything. I feel like we hit the slaughterer. And then move back a tad. These guys are all knocked back immune. Let's hit this one. It's a little bit more vulnerable. I'll taunt here to reduce his AP a bit. Ready to fight. Our other pretend Your tank can is. join there. And then the traps seem to be doing a pretty good job. We'll place it more in this area so that we kind of catch this overflow a bit. None of these guys can be slowed. Okay, I probably should have just teleported. But I didn't, so let's just hold that. Nice, nice target. Ooh, that to fight. was rough. Not gonna lie. Okay, Tristan, I'm gonna bring you back and chill. I am ready. What? I can probably hit both of these. Put them down. Excellent. Oh, I maybe should have power attacked first for some vulnerability. He's got oh, he's got the 80% resist anyway. Has 15% armor break. That doesn't matter either. So let's go here. What are we waiting for? We, oh, nice double damage. Better recuperate. Okay. Let's summon this stuff up. This is a bit, <laughs> this is a bit risky. Um.
Now, do I cast a Mind Fog or do I go for damage? I think we go for damage and burning. Let's hit two on this guy. Slow that warg. We'll hit these two. What? Awaiting your command. Okay. Merlin's not down. Okay, that could change things a tad, and it did actually. Good for them. Well played. So this burning is still happening for three and three. I wonder why, why is that? I don't know if it, they're supposed to burn for that long. Like, I don't know if those are just not ticking down for some reason. Either way. So that, if he hits there, he might die. And we're just going to teleport to hide now. Um. Got some incoming problems. I am here to serve. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill this so that we can move our guy out without taking an opportunity attack. This one's dead now. I could taunt the warg to make sure that he doesn't attack this unit. And overwatch that. I am ready. Tristan, let's just take a little sippy sip here. I just can't target that. Do this. Okay. So they're dead next turn. There's that earth ball. I kind of wish that knockdown wouldn't knock back. Well, so we just need to hit this dude. Give him a target there. We'll come in. You can kill the warg. And then I might be able to make this happen. We got it. Okay. Clean. Let me guess, this isn't it either? What kind of sorcery oh. is this? The gate was here a moment ago. Yeah. But okay. now it's it's moving to another place. Impossible. Impossible. 
We're gonna be dancing all over this place. Okay, well, uh, solves that problem, I guess. Let's go here. We'll heal the Black Knight. There's maybe some small armor gains to be had. But the fact that we're bouncing all over, I don't know how many bounces we're going to have. Video game it's logic close. tells me... Real close. Tells me three. Holy frick. Is that a special variant? I feel like it is. He looks alone. The gate. We have found it. I knew I was right. I don't see any gates. It's the Fomorian giant himself. A champion oh. of Baylor. Carrying the spark of the Dark God. He is a walking and living <sighs> gate. What the hell? Yes. Yes. That thing can walk between worlds and summon other Fomorians to his side. Can't you see it? Um, yeah, I can. Is there anything else? I know the incantations to banish such beasts. Just stand back and watch. <laughs> oh, are you serious? Uh, I have a feeling that is not a good idea for you. Why don't we tackle the champion together? Without my incantations, you stand no chance, you savages. It's madness. <laughs> what do we do? I honestly feel like if I let him do it himself, he's going to die or something. All right, let's see what he does. Banish the beast. He's going to die. Either he's dead for sure, and then I'm going to have to fight him without this guy. Watch. Flesmere, world eater. Fell master of the gate. His ass is showing. Champion of the Fomorian Dark King. Heed me. I am Meliorus, the Untouchable. Goodbye, Meliorus. It's been a pleasure. I command thee to submit to my spell. Leave Avalon now and never return. Here it comes. What did you just say, <laughs> foolish mortal? Get that teleport ready. And called it. What an idiot. What the frick? I am Flesmere, the world eater. Oh boy. Champion, I have summoned you to a great Devour them alive. Ah, you. I knew it, man. I knew it. I, I knew it. Hey, what are you what are you walking at me for, bro? Oh whoa! Oh my God! This is a lot. This is a lot. This is a lot. Wow. How do we do this? Thank God we have Merlin. So this dude, big attack, big cleave, drinks potion for HP and armor, roar for weakness. And shield bash. Well. I need to start burning him immediately. Looks like uh, if I'm going to burn, it's going to be these two for right now. The vulnerability. Okay. Awaiting your command. <sighs> what are we waiting for? I'm gonna have to move in here. Not gonna go well, I don't think. What's it gonna be? Okay. So <laughs> this guy's got a hundred percent physical, seventy mental. 
So I could chill him, but it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean extra damage to anyone. I can't even reach him, so forget that. I guess it's gonna be one of these guys. This guy hits harder. But the Black Knight's right in there anyways. So I have to take this. Oh, I should have summoned my lost unit there. We'll throw one of these down. Make up your mind. Definitely recuperating. Oh, nice. <laughs> that double damage. Okay, interesting, because now this guy may attack us, Tower but and glory. whatever. Uh, I do wonder if he's going to resist this. Yeah, okay, he did. So, that sucks. Sword or sorcery? Make up your mind. Okay. Good luck, guys. Is on the way. That sucks that that was a backstab. Back, my friend. That could be worse. Knockdowns on Merlin, not cool, dude. He is just a harmless old man. Should I be chilling this guy or should I be going for damage? I think I have to go for damage. And I will summon in my lost unit. Anywhere is good. Make up your mind. Um, power attack for some armor break, I guess. I don't like that this guy is backstabbing me. That's a big chunk, actually. Ready. I'm actually going to work the Red Knight around a bit. Yeah, that didn't have the effect that I was hoping for, but here we are. We do have an armor potion, which I might have to pop soon. This guy's burning for four turns. Okay, so maybe my burning durations are just much higher than I was thinking. You can see, like, that lower damage on his uh, backstabs. Um, not, like, every backstab not being buffed is actually probably not as good or... or I guess what I'm trying to say is the trinket that we have for surprise damage, even though it's got more armor pierce, I think the backstab damage as a whole is still better. Ready to fight. I really hope this guy goes here. Your Highness. I'm not sure how this What's is gonna, gonna go. Okay, this is one of those hold on to your butts. Scenarios. Drinking. Oh, look at all of that's that's like a lot. There's a tornado. Yikes! Yikes! Okay. <laughs> Yikes! Yikes all around.
No sense me really attacking there. I'll take the backstab. What are we waiting? Okay. Tower and glory. You drink this. I don't even need to fix your armor yet, surprisingly. Your highness. Uh, he's still burning, so that's cool. I think now we want to get these guys burning. I wonder if I can get... Oh, that is nice. Okay. I'm gonna do it from here. I hope I have the range. Oh, I got more than enough. Okay. A little, uh, a little distraction. And then don't hurt my old man. Okay. I need to clear some of the floor here. Clear the floor. I don't think this is a great use of leap, to be honest. But I can use just one. What are we waiting for? Actually. If I come here, I'll have enough for a taunt, and this should be a backstab. It is. Don't taunt him. Taunt somebody like this. Ready. I am ready. Okay, he's dead. Then I could jump, attack, and pull back. Actually. Yeah, that was not the play. <laughs> that wasn't the play. Good luck, Tristan. This, These two are dead, which is, you know, uh, something. But these two are going to cause some problems here. I was thinking I might have the damage to kill, and I, I could have hidden, but uh, it didn't work out that way. Throw a trap. Could get backstabbed from that taint hog as well. Yeah, let's see what they do. Weakness, okay. Wow. Look at those summons. Isn't that cool? Make up your mind. He's still getting hurt pretty hard here. This can hit two. They both have the same armor pierce. Since this does more weapon damage, maybe I should take this first. Is there a world in which your I can kill this Windmaster? I think the worms I just have to ignore. He's gonna have another heal in three. The poison damage could obviously be helpful. I'm not able to clear the field of any others, I don't think. I'll do two attacks, one free. Oh yeah, he's got he's got so much armor. Oh yeah, even with the piercing, like pff, whatever. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to poison him. Kind of a bummer decision there.
Hey, Black Knight. Time to be chill. Thirty-seven to forty-one, or I could launch these two things. Just similar. Let's just use this. I feel like this is gonna hit us as well. You must be really desperate. Oh, I'm desperate. Yeah, definitely. One hundo. This guy only has melee attacks, so I'm not too worried about him right now. Let's go here. Then I'll teleport here. I can kill a worm. Or bring this guy pretty low. Let's do that. God, that's so close. I'm actually gonna move over here to hide even more. Okay, we got another hold on to your butt scenario. Now, if their summoner dies, do they die? Don't know. We're gonna recuperate for sure. Uh, Black Knight, I am gonna give you the armor potion now. We've been carrying them for a while, haven't needed them. It's another potion coming up here in a bit. So let's try and strip this. Ready to fight. And I feel like I could probably get through a bunch of this here. He needs to get down to 68. Do you need any wise words? Okay, so dead. to be able to hit the big guy. God, is it ever Ready. close. I'm gonna tank this. <clears throat> I do have an extra attack here. Damn it. Ready to fight. What's it gonna be? Okay, so this means we can kill him. Wait, so he's at he needs to be at 68 plus 5. Uh wait, is my math right? Yeah. 68 plus 5 for 73. So he does need a hit. If I use this, it doesn't really benefit me. I guess I could kill a worm. Probably better off doing this. Problem is, it, it messes with my cooldowns, but it doesn't matter. So I can bring him down here, just one, and then he'll die. And then... Let's put one into the Windmaster, just to see if it's going to kill those worms, and one into the Beastman. Okay, it does not. But he is dead, so that's huge. We'll taunt you.
you're gonna hold. You're gonna hide. Make up your mind. Ready to fight. And we're gonna mind fog him. Okay, everyone. I think we see the end. It's all good. It's all good. Nobody panic. Nice double damage there. Face this direction. Oh, not that it will matter, I guess. Yeah, it's just feeling like his backstabs are weak. I know his weapon base is pretty low. Um, but like, he can only do like 18 per hit with no armor on. It's kind of wild. Small problem here. <laughs> I may need to. Oh, that actually isn't gonna, even gonna work. Okay, so we gotta do this. <laughs> Let's hope he goes for this one. Oh, nice. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get the teleport. My my brain isn't computing correctly anymore. All right, we're good. Ready to fight. Okay, Tristan, make sure you get the backstabs. <gasps> Holy smokes, that was, that was intimidating, to say the least. And so the knights bested Flesmere, the world eater. Yes, they, they did. Gate to the worlds that Balor wants to take. Victories like that prove that I choose wisely. Oh yeah, that, that was all you. Italian good, good job. Out to be worthy guardians of Avalon. Um, I would have liked to hear what the dead guy had to say, because... <laughs> Frick, I knew he was gonna die. He might have been, like, he could have put out a decent amount of damage there. It, thankfully, we didn't tank too, like, we didn't have too many problems. But, um, it could have been pretty must. sketch. I guess that's it. I didn't see anything else. Merlin 18, my dude. Nice. Okay. Uh, One-handed 16 ignores some block. Extra damage for basic melee attacks. Five armor pierce. Uh, jewelry. Less range damage. Damage against burning. Eight armor piercing. Marksman. Extra damage against burning. Six damage for fire arrow. Wall of flame. Sail, 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 sail. All right. Lots of level ups here. And lots of other stuff. Okay, let's take a look. So level 19, Baylor's Champion. 17 Stronghold, 18 Gathering, 18 Retribution. I have received a truly extraordinary oh, oh, message. Oh, oh. Okay, so we got to get our, our main squad up to that level. We're definitely going here next. First vassals. And uh, I guess from here on, we got to just make sure that we're taking the best of the best, right? Let's look at these. Travelers arriving to Camelot are telling amusing tales of certain highwaymen, exceptionally gifted and pillaging the furthest corners of the kingdom. Bandits are a dime a dozen here, but the, bra the but these ones eluded all attempts of capture. 
They are rumored to even brave the she realm, the Deepwood. Sir Mordred could put them to good use as vassal. Maybe a carefully selected Knight of the Round Table could convince them to join, but we have to find them first. Send a knight to recruit the Highwaymen. Huh. Bandits are a dime a dozen. Rumored to even brave the she realm. Maybe a carefully selected knight could convince them. Okay. Who would we pick? Burning bridges? Nice. The she turned out to be quite a troublesome foe. Their ancient heartland here in Avalon is vast. Dangerous and bristling with magic. Uh, and inevitably intertwined with our own lands. They enter and leave at will through hidden gateways, using our realm as a playground to wreak havoc. Some say it's fateful weakness that I could easily purge by burning down certain parts of the deep wood. Old faith worshippers would revolt to the idea, so I won't touch the dead wood. And that, my friends, is going to unlock Lady Morgana Le Fay. How cool is that? Level when 14. I, word of a village, <laughs> uh, I guess we're going there next. Um, yeah. I, I, she might be useless, but we got to figure it out, right? We got to. Okay. Uh, Dindrain. Two levels. What do we do? We could boost your fire arrow. So she's got the built-in dodge. Extra range. Damage against farther units, I think, is good. It's normally the case. Let's take that, and let's take he Heated Arrow. Tristan, I think... I think now we gotta go into backstab damage. We need that extra boost for sure. Gawain got two. Sweeping strike could be okay. Regain five HP for each hit. Let's do that. Mordred. I think I gotta take hardened armor. Merlin. Okay. So, he's got Pyromania. He's got Mindstorm. He's got Spell Power. He's got Master of Fire. Uh, extra damage against burning. Yeah, would be good. Minus damage from incoming spells. I'm honestly not too worried about incoming spells. Like, who's casting spells on Merlin? Dodge the first incoming melee attack. I think we go Mysticism, right? It gives us a Spellcraft, which I guess is, like, fine. Uh, but killing a unit reduces all cooldowns by one once per turn. So, it's just another way to reduce all of our stuff. Right? I'm, re I'm really tempted to, to go maybe extended armor. So that that magic armor lasts just a little bit extra. Because here's the thing. If we have three skills on cooldown, right? Just casting the skill reduces all cooldowns. But this... Anytime that Merlin's capable of killing someone, which I don't know if his damage over time kills count or not. That would be kind of interesting. Okay, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take mysticism. And then I'll probably buff magical armor. I think that's the play. We're gonna go Master Assassin here, because this is really good. Alright. Let me just reorder some of these guys real quick. 
There's our 18s, 17s. Look at Tristan is slowly catching up. Slowly catching up. Okay. So here's the problem. Uh, this is a very low level. Village, where people inexplicably begin to kill each other. But it'll give us an opportunity to just do something a little different. I'm not going to take Budichia because it's quite literally wasted. Because I'm going to kick her out and try out Morgana, I think. Begin to kill each other. Or at least get Morgana Around training. The same time that the legendary enchantress Morgana makes an appearance after her long absence, I become suspicious. Let's find out if she's there to assist or to make trouble. So we'll bring Tristan, who's not going to get very much XP at all, but he'll slaughter these enemies embarrassingly. Uh, Sir Kay to defend, champion. Sorry, Sir Kay is the champion. Um, who do I want to invest in here more? Percival, who's got low loyalty, but he's got encouragement, recuperate, guard, and flaming strike. Or Gawain, who's got Taunt. He's got a more normal kit. And his loyalty is better. When I hear word of a village, that answers the question for me. people inexplicably begin to kill each other. Around the same time that the legendary enchantress Morgana may... Okay, so let's check the merchant here. So it's restocking next mission. Enchanted Tower. Oh my god! So many goodies! Resets the negative loyalty modifiers the hero gained from past events. That's neat. So if we look at the loyalty. So decreases from event. So minus two there, but he's already, he's fine. Uh, minus one, which would put him over, which, you know, would be kind of nice. Because I just don't have a don't have another relic for him that I can put in this slot unless champion only yeah so this one won't work okay um so maybe red knights maxed Love it. Black Knight, 17, so he's good. Dindrain, minus 5 from events. <laughs> it's because she, she... This is basically to buff someone that isn't in your kind of ideology, right? So that would take her to 9. It's an option. Minus 1, it would take him up by 1. Minus 2. Minus 1. Minus two, which would push him into the next. Huh. Yeah, I don't know if that's a if that's worth the dust, but let's look at the other stuff here. Okay, so Spellblade Hexmark. 15% damage for the next melee attack after each spell cast since the last melee attack. So this would be good for somebody like Budachia. Not good for the uh for the vanguards. It is extra damage, which I like, but. We still have that free attack. So, I don't think so. Ghost armor sigil for vanguards and sages. Three unbreakable armor for adjacent allies. Not necessarily useful, because he's always alone. Last four armor is unbreakable. That's pretty good. And two unbreakable armor while outnumbered. It's pretty good. But it's not as good as this. That extra AP, when hidden, stacks with the other one, and then we just get a natural plus AP, and then two AP for the first turn of the encounters. Yeah, I don't think that's a buy. Whisper Stone. Gain two armor after each encounter if no damage was received. Dodge the first incoming attack. Yeah, I mean, no. Alchemist Haversack, Vanguard only. Fill two empty consumable slots in the party. With common potions when resting. 
<laughs> now that's neat. That's neat. But I'm probably going back to that other one. Uh, that other trinket here. The Vanguard Spyglass. Because uh, I just think I need the, the backstab damage more. Uh, cool. It's a cool idea. One of the things I like about their, their uh, items is a lot of creativity. Celestial Marksman Seal for Vanguards. Range, range skills, dodge opportunities, doesn't matter. Wreath of Bibda. This looks very similar to this thing. It's the same icon. Uh, so we would gain 3 AP for the first kill each turn, which basically means a free attack. Actually, not even, because his attack costs 4. Teleport next to the closest enemy within 8 tiles after each kill. I get why you might want to do that, but it's way too much to compute and keep track of, and then I just feel like I'm going to end up in bad positions more often than not. Two damage till the end of the encounter for each kill. Ah, it's, it's tempting, because there's some cool stuff there. Uh, Vanguard. So, two HP for each hit while in duel. 5 damage against Chilled, 5 damage while in Duel. I think the double damage one is nicer. And then gain 2 armor. This is for Marksman. Uh, or Arcanus. So it's got way more health, but no armor. Gain 2 armor after each encounter if no damage was received. Hex intensity and 2 AP for the first turn. Gotcha. So, theoretically, this armor could stack higher. It starts with zero, but each encounter where you don't take any damage, uh, you get two. So if you got five fights, you could get up to like 10 armor at some point. I don't know. I think we keep this where the movement skills can be used for movement AP. Get extra movement AP. Yeah. Unfortunately, none of these are buys. Unfortunately. That sucks. Okay. Uh, do we need to do any healing? I know some people are just slightly under. Oh, but we had that thing where they heal when they come back now. So, yeah. Nobody needs any of that. And what we'll do is... Put Mordred in. Merlin in. Balin in, and the Red Knight in. Uh, these guys could be, like, power leveling. But seeing as... Seeing as the uh, upcoming missions are more of a challenge, we're going to keep these guys leveling. Okay, so we're going to go for Morgana next. I'll do the build-out, and uh, we won't have Merlin, which is going to be sad. But we're out leveling this pretty aggressively, so I feel like we'll probably still stomp, but I'm interested to see the mission. See you guys next time. Bye for now.